You know, and being here in a beautiful facility like the Sherman House, talking about all of the things that are available through Hospice of the Valley, it's one thing to talk to the staff, but I think that it's a different story altogether. It's an even more personal story when that story is told by someone who is the recipient of those services. And I'm talking about, in this case, Bud Short. I thank you so much because I know that your wife uh, is here uh, and uh, she's being taken care of by the staff. For how long? Since Sunday. Can you tell me the story, please, Bud? And I, I don't like to intrude on uh, any sorrow or sadness that goes on, but the audience will be very attentive to just find out what uh, what it is that Bud has personally experienced. Well, we've been here, or what brought her here, or? Yes. Well, she has ovarian cancer, and she's had it for six years, so she's really fought a good battle. and. Uh, I was taking care of her here. We have a home here, and I was taking care of her myself. And uh, our kids had come out from all over the country and uh, visit and help out a little bit. And then I found out one day I was just over my head because uh, in the middle of the night when something would happen, I was really uh, unqualified, to say the least. And what a responsibility for a family member, husband, child, uh, anyone. It's very scary. <laughs> And, and you, uh, you finally decided uh, to, uh, to talk to the people at Hospice of the Valley. How did you know them? Because I know that you don't spend full time right. here in the Valley. Well, we talked, we have, she had an oncologist down here, and he was giving her some options that she had, and one was hospice. So we, uh, this was some time ago, this was probably two months ago. And so we uh, decided that sounded like a good thought. And we got home and we called hospice, and they sent over someone to explain the program to us. And so we, uh, we really signed up right away. Uh, and they visited us in our home for about a month. We had care in our home. A nurse would come once a week, a social worker and a doctor. And uh, then it started getting worse and much harder for me to take care of her. So we called and uh, actually we wanted to be here because we lived just a few blocks away. And uh, there was a wait, uh, waiting list and so I, uh, called every morning to see if there was an opening and last Sunday uh, there was an opening so we came over and uh, it's just been unbelievable. Well all right what about the service though that may have surprised you that you weren't even prepared for even after the conversations that you'd had with the staff? Yeah well I'll tell you they're the most professional and compassionate and caring people you'd ever want to take care of someone you love that's for sure. They are unbelievable. Can you give me an example of, of one, whether you know the person by name or not, somebody that touched you and your wife? Oh, they all have. They really have. And they get to know you. They get to know my wife for a while. And uh, they know what requirements are what, much better than I do. And day and night, they're there to help you. And it's just incredible service. And you can appreciate it as much as anybody because of all that time that you did that's the care. Right, that's right. And she's getting much better care, I might add. <laughs> <laughs> well, we don't have the qualifications, but certainly these people at Hospice of the Valley do. Um, is, is, this the, um, is this the kind of thing that you expected when you heard the word hospice before you really understood that you needed one yourself? Well, my mother-in-law had had a hospice in Colorado. And so I was somewhat familiar with it, and they were very fine people there, but I didn't have the first-hand experience, which is much different, you know, 24-7. Can you talk to me about some of the services besides just simply the compassion uh, and the sensitivity that the staff shows yeah. to you and your wife? Uh, for example, uh, I know that they have counseling services here and, and uh, a variety of of things that are available. Have you taken advantage of any of the other things? I really haven't. I'm probably, uh, uh, I really hate to be out of her room. And I, I'm, I'm here as much as I can. And uh, so I, to this point, I really haven't, but I've had a lot from the nurses, a lot of input and counseling from them. What have you told the kids? Oh, they've all been here. They've all been here to see uh, the Sherman House. And or, what did they say? Oh, they felt so relieved that the old man wasn't taking full responsibility and she was in good hands 
Well, it sounds to me like she's been in good hands for a long, long time, even before Hospice of the Valley. And I thank you so much for your time during this time that's so difficult. Thank you.